A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, All right, guys. so here Fight. we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Bleeding from his cheek now. He's able to slip the left. Right hand upstairs. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Oh! Hey. Kick there by Bisping. Under three minutes now to go, and what has been a very fast paced opening round here. Bisping gets caught by the elbow there. You know he's tough, but you just don't want to absorb too many more of those. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Yoel. Oh. Oh. Kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Under two minutes to go. Just what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Left oh. hand punch. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. This pink just got full mount now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. Oh. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes. Round two coming up next. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautiful kick. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he is taking. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity.
Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yoel, soldier of God, Romero. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete.